Hello and welcome. A lot of parents are being pre-programmed from a very young age. And the carrot that gets dangled is always about high school, college recruiting and beyond. And I'm talking about ages six through 14. Now, topic number one, people are like, well, that's a big age group. Well, ages six through 14 is elementary school through your eighth grade year, for the most part, really your seventh grade year. And we're being pre-programmed and we're talking about results or outcomes as opposed to practice habits, skill set development, and the priorities of being a kid, meaning enjoying the childhood, allowing for falling, failing, learning, struggling, allowing to learn about becoming competitive. Lessons are good, but lessons are not a total, complete uh solver to a problem they help but they are not a remedy they are not a cure and i think it's important for parents to know that there is no such thing as a quick fix as it relates to youth baseball youth baseball is a is a whole collection of trials and tribulations highs and lows and within all of that athletes begin to learn and identify who they are who their competition is, what direction they're heading in, and what they need to do to get there. That was the whole point of my, my, my post. You know, if we start to talk about high school and college with children that are 10, 11, 12, what if they don't live up to that? Have they failed in your, the eyes of their parents? Are they letting people down? We don't talk about the mental health component of youth athletes as far as expectations are concerned. And whose expectations? Are they somebody from social media? Are they someone within their family? We need to address those sorts of things. The other thing that seemed to catch the uh, attention, I guess to be polite, is talking about college baseball before the age of, say, freshman year, or sophomore year. Here's the facts. College recruiting is not the same. Travel baseball is not the pathway. High school showcases no longer the direct pathway. Do they play a role? Yes. It's a billion dollar business. Is somebody going to change that? Not in one day, but I promise you there are going to be changes. That I know for a fact. The issue here is if we continue to tell athletes that their singular focus needs to be about making a high school varsity team or making a college program, you know, being a participant at the college level. If they don't achieve that, are they a failure? Was all that experience as a kid worthless? In my opinion, it's not. Because the facts are, the numbers tell us, the reality of the topic is 90% of high school athletes will never play a day in college. And I'm being kind at 90%. It's 2% Division One. it's 3% Division Two. It, it, the changes at the collegiate level are driven by Major League Baseball. It's a business. It's a billion-dollar business, both MLB and college athletics. And it's only getting more zeros attached to it. We cannot make youth baseball and the participants of youth sports believe that the only outcome has to be college in order for them to have had a fun experience. We need to go and promote playing sports, participating in sports, not about who has the highest batting average, not about who won the most awards. The other part of this discussion is this. Because you want your child to be ultra competitive doesn't mean every other athlete has to think that way or play that way. The facts are every student athlete is driven by something different. Every student athlete may not be as competitive as your student athlete. The fact that your school programs aren't as competitive as other schools, that's not something that you can just wave a wand over. There are alternatives, and that is going to be a topic that I continue to discuss as the channel begins to grow. But understand this, it's a billion dollar industry, and the it is youth sports. We as adults need to understand that sometimes children just look at youth sports as an outlet, as an activity.
to share and spend time with friends, to be competitive, but also to learn compromise, to be competitive and learn that their best may not always turn out to be what they had hoped. I'm not Pollyanna. I understand that everybody wants the great outcome, but I can tell you, when you get to the higher levels of sport, the more is demanded of your student athlete. And the more that's demanded puts more intense pressure on them mentally, not just physically. We as adults have to start to look as a collective whole by making sure we allow children to play a sport without having to worry about what lies ahead five to 10 years from now. With, without worry about accolades and, and all-stars and things like that. These are important topics that need to be discussed by adults with adults to help find middle ground or perhaps solutions. I would love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as to the Twitter channel. And I would love it if you would join me and, and really work towards a better uh, product moving forward within youth sports. Thank you.